There are leaks about the 38th mini box in dual links, voltage of the metal. It has cards that support gear gear, wind up, heraldry and some other random stuff. Gear gear got their two XC's monsters and their searcher on the box, but overall they are still not good enough. Their XC's monsters don't have any protection or card removal effects, and the rank 3 monster has a floating effect that can miss timing but the rank 4 monster could see some play outside of the gear gear archetype as a machine monster searcher. Wind ups have their XC's monsters released too. Wind up carrier paired with wind up rat can make several rank 3 XC's summons a turn, but their XC's monsters aren't very good either, and I don't think it would see a lot of competitive play. Heraldry can summon their rank 4 monsters very easily thanks to their spell cards, but their XC's monsters only perform well when your opponent is using an XC's monster. You can still use the archetype as an engine to XC's summon other rank 4 monsters, but there are certainly better choices to use like Saddle Arc Knights. Other than the new XC's support, this box has some nice generic XC's monsters. Leviathan the Sea Dragon can special summon banished monsters, which can be useful in some combo decks for extension uses, and Diamond Dire Wolf that can destroy any card easily. We can finally play Xyz Infernity Loops with multiple Dire Wolves. Marauding Captain is also useful for both Synchro and Xyz strategies, but for free to play players, one copy of it won't do much to help your deck. Should you buy the box after it's released? For free to play players, I think it's better to skip this box because the new supports are not very useful currently. If you happen to have a lot of gems left, or if you intend to pay in game, it's best to only invest on the box without resetting to get one copy of each of the XC's monsters. Thanks for watching goodbye.